Hey friends, welcome to our homestead. If you are thinking about homesteading, homestead prepping, prepping, whatever it is, I've got a warning for you. Let's talk about it. Now, I'm never gonna to talk to you about anything that I haven't personally struggled with. So rest assured that I've gone through this as well. I wanna encourage you to spend more time learning and doing instead of buying things. I see it far too often where preppers and homesteaders stock up on things. Things like totes full of prepackaged freeze-dried foods or little gadgets that do, I don't know, whatever. And they do not spend time learning. And when I mean learning, I mean diving down deep into how to do a skill and almost becoming an expert at it and repetitively doing it over and over and over again. And these skills are life-saving and life-giving skills. In a minute, I'm going to talk about three priority steps for learning on your homestead that have helped me and I think will help you. Because friends, you could have all the gadgets in the world, all the tools in the world, it doesn't matter. If you don't know how to use them well, or say they are tools which only implement and use technology behind them, instead of say a hand tool, then once those disappear, you're in trouble. So at a super basic level, learn, implement, and constantly practice how to start a fire, maybe five different ways, without a match. You need to sharpen and strengthen your mind and your body so you can utilize a primitive technique if your equipment runs out of fuel or breaks, whatever it is. And briefly along those same lines for my Christian friends, you need to study your word. If that is what you believe in, you need to put that priority above your prepping because you can lose your salvation. You're not once saved, always saved. How much time on a regular basis? And that's not once a year or once every six months. That's maybe weekly. How much time on a regular basis do you practice a skill that you need for your homestead? You're practicing, you know, what it means to plant properly or preserve properly or you know, there's a lot of different skills out here that are needed. Maybe it is electrical, maybe it is plumbing, maybe it's something you're not doing all the time that you really should be. And if that means diving into the books ahead of time, learning and then implementing, stuffing that knowledge in your head, then you need to do it. Do constant training on how to repair A, B, and C. You know, small engine repair is big on a homestead. Do you have that down? Can you analyze each one of your pieces of equipment and fix that? For me, tying knots is something that I just do not practice a lot. I've got two in my bag, essentially, a bowling knot and a trucker's hitch, but I could use so many more types of knots here on the homestead for so many different jobs, and I just not ha have not spent the time going through and really practicing and practicing on how to do those knots. Information needs to be refreshed in your mind. Skills need to be sharpened and resharpened over time. Don't forget that. Don't buy all of these books and then let them sit on the shelf. They do no good there. Yes, you can go and reference them. And yes, if you download videos, say off of YouTube, you can go and reference that. But if it's a skill a survival skill, really. You need to start to really sit down and learn it. Because a book that is just a shelf decoration does you no good. Committing it to memory and say muscle memory is 10 times more valuable. And once you get those practical skills down, it's going to save you money in the end, honestly. Because then you won't be purchasing all those little gadgets you thought you needed to do the job and you can just work with your hands and the knowledge that you have stuck in your head that's not going anywhere anymore and utilize that. So you won't be buying all this junk. Look, I've made mistakes buying things too, like this right here and also this. One is supposed to start a fire pretty easily and it's okay, it doesn't work great. And the other one is supposed to cook uh, with the sun and be kind of hands off. and it's okay, 
it doesn't work great. Are they good backup pieces to have? Maybe. Could I have saved several hundred dollars? Probably. Could I just start a fire another way or cook food easier? Yes. But hey, I've lived, I've learned, and hopefully the knowledge of my mistakes helps you out. But friends, just start gathering information into your study library. Gather those books, which is fine. Just don't let them be the shelf decorations. Bookmark web pages, download and rip videos off of YouTube or wherever it is, and save them, but study them. You've got to dive into them, learn those skills, get out here and practically do it every day or as much as you possibly can. Now, in addition to sharpening your mind and committing all those skills to muscle memory and to your memory, you need to sharpen and hone your physical body. Because if you're going to rely on using this to produce the firewood that it takes to heat your home and keep you warm in the winter and cook with, then you have to get stronger. You have to get in better shape. Because if the fuel for your log splitter runs out, and you're no longer able to get that for whatever reason, then this is the backup you have to have and you have to be able to use. And that's the same with one of these. How many people can swing this around for more than a few minutes and really get down the grass on the property and uh, clean up around the places that need to be cleaned up or even harvest with this if it's grains, whatever. Can you swing this for an extended period of time? Okay, friends, let's talk about those three priority steps that I talked about earlier for learning on your homestead. And number one is blocking out time. You have to set aside time where you're actually sitting down inside and learning. Or you could be out here in a chair and practicing like knots, right? Practice tying knots, practice tying knots. But learning from, like I said, watching or reading, whatever it is. And step two is to take notes. Committing to memory things that you read or watch by writing them down is a proven method. So take notes, things that you can go back to, a notebook that you can carry around, a journal. Farmers do this all the time. This is school out here. It's school in a different form. And those skills you learn in this school are gonna keep you alive and your family safe. Because like I mentioned earlier, those skills you are learning are life-giving and life-saving. The third one is to implement, practice. All of those skills you are learning out of the books, you're writing down, you have to practice and implement them, or it's not gonna stick as well in your head. And I will actually give you a fourth bonus one, and that is spending money on an online course. Because if you're spending money on it, more than likely, you will see that as an investment and you need to spend uh, and give more attention to it to get your money's worth. That can and will help a lot of people. I hope that's been valuable and helpful for you. And if you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button below the video. Also, if you have any questions, leave them for me in the comment section below the video. Now go check out this series of videos right here, which shows you how we installed our entire rainwater collection system. Have a beautiful blessed day. We'll see you next time. Bye.